saw there was this thing on, um, I think it was Netflix. It was Zach Galifianakis and he has this little talk show called Between Two Ferns. Oh yeah. Here, yeah, here yeah. we are. Welcome to God, Family and Guns. And this is Between Multiple Guns. Between the Guns. Between the Guns. Because <laughs> so, we have some over here. Some <laughs> we really are. Between the guns. We are yeah. between all of the guns. <laughs> so yes, welcome to our talk show. <laughs> all right. Yeah, this is good. I like it. <laughs> We've talked a lot about um, kind of when the new guns come out and you're just sitting there waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting and it just feels a little like it's gotten worse over the years. Um, does it feel like it's getting better? Because it does seem like you got to no. know. Okay, you just happen. It's just a good timing. It's just, just happened to be falling into a time where you had a bunch of stuff pop in. Very, 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 very good timing. It's also... Um, an awesome cousin with amazing relationships with the distribution companies and the sales reps for those companies. And over the 13 years that he's been in business, knowing these guys, even if they have switched jobs and switched companies that they work for and still being able to like go, yeah, I want to send you my business. We've, we've been friends for years you keep getting me all this stuff so yeah uh, nice so that is very 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 helpful to get all of this cool stuff in um but it takes forever to get it and mm. the reason it feels like it takes so long we're still in the realm of the world of you want it you have it instantaneously True. at your True. fingertips you can order things online and have them delivered the same day that you order them whether it's food or something from amazon or whatever there is no waiting mm -hmm. in anything in any part of our lives now and so when you're like well you have to wait for the supply chain to get one to us and then you know you have to wait for everybody that's on the list ahead of you yeah. until we come down to your name and give you first right of refusal. And so. it seems like lately too, people get really mad if they got away too. And I don't <laughs> even know what that is. Like that almost feels a little bit new. I mean, people have always got mad if they got away, but it feels like it's getting, that piece is getting worse, it, it, you know? It does feel like there are some people out there who really could use a few more lessons in exercising patience. <laughs> All of us have uh -huh. the same, I mean, you want something, you want it now, and, and we can either drive to go get it someplace or mm -hmm. have it delivered to us. So yeah, having to wait and having to exercise that patience for it's something, tough. it is tough. I used to be a, a waiter when I was in college. I was a waiter um, for many, many years, uh, many years. and. One thing I always made a point of is to let people know that I know that they're waiting on me, you know, because it's something about if you're waiting on something, if somebody just says, hey, it's it's going to be three more weeks, you're like, well, at least I know. And you're kind of, it's kind of the unknown that I think freaks people out. Like if you're sitting at a restaurant and you need water and the waiter looks at you from across the room and just says, well, then you can relax. Like, I'm on my well, way. I know he's on the way. But yeah. if you're like, where is he? Does he know I need water? You know, those things, I think that's where people are getting stressed out. So I think it's just an acknowledgement but, in business practice. I don't know. <laughs> I think you're, part of that is right, but it does kind of suck when this side of the counter has no idea how soon we will be getting mm -hmm. restocked on something. Well, I guess either. that's what I'm getting at. If, if the distributors could communicate somehow, but I guess they probably so don't the, know either. The, no, guess, they don't because okay. it's up to the manufacturers and the manufacturers, they're not just servicing one distribution company. They're sending these to many different distribution companies or um, box stores, big brand name stores mm -hmm. that carry their specific right, lines. Right, right, they're right. a distribution company in their own right, but they're just a distribution company that is for sale to the general public. Mm -hmm. So I, that's like where you can walk in and buy it instead of having it shipped to your local small dealer where you pick them up here. So I, I get that there's not a whole lot of transparency in when things will be there, but you know, there's, also a lot of not a transparency in other departments too. Um, oh, I know there, yeah. are, there are Goodness people gracious. that have been waiting eight months plus on silencers and things, and some of them turn around a lot quicker than others. And well, gee, I don't work for the ATF, but I couldn't, or the NFA division. 
Uh, so I couldn't tell you how long that's going to take either, but I know that they get pretty cranky when, when they have to answer those phone calls. When, oh, yeah, no, we still have your paperwork. Yes, it's still here. Um, thanks for the call. Thanks for checking in on it. We'll get to it when we get to it. And that paper goes to the yeah. bottom of the pile usually. I wonder if there's a way for, the, at the beginning point, maybe the manufacturers to be able to communicate. Because, like, for example, um, when you apply for a passport. Yeah. You know, it, you could get online and you can look and it'll say processing. Uh -huh. Like, it won't say how long. You know, it just says processing. It just says, yeah. But at least you kind of know. Well, they got the paperwork that we know. I wonder if there's a way for manufacturers just to say, well, for distributors, you know, well, I mean, because... I would guess if I was a distributor working with somebody like Smith & Wesson that I would have an account with them, mm -hmm. you know? So I would log into my account and I should be able to see, some, you know, okay, well, these this order is processing, you know, yeah, or something like that. It probably does show you processing, but it doesn't Just show you a timeline. where they are on the manufacturing like the, line. Yeah, it's like, like the passport. <laughs> exactly. It's like you don't know where, and then all of a sudden your competitor shows up with, all these new latest and greatest and you're like wait a minute i thought we were supposed to get our hands on those well they got in line ahead of everybody else or they order more bigger accounts right larger right. orders that'll <laughs> do it and then so it slowly comes down and when we finally get our hands on one we're like mm -hmm. thank you <laughs>